Right, so this is part two of the airbag install. Uh, last one, I've actually fitted the bags, uh, showed you how to do all that. This one is the onboard air control system. So what I've done, I've mounted an onboard air tank and compressor with a couple of switches and a gauge over here. And that's gonna allow me to individually control my airbags and know how much air's in them at all times, which is pretty cool. A um, few things to consider when you get it. Uh, there's a, a fair few components in the kit. So one being the tank and the compressor, the switches, the gauge, you got a lot of um, airline wiring, relay, uh, heaps of terminals and that sort of stuff. So it looks a bit complicated when you look into it, but some really good instructions there. Uh, follow them through, lay it all out, and it's a piece of cake to fit yourself. So a lot of people mount the air tank and compressor under their vehicles or in the bonnet. Uh, it's gonna be individual as to what sort of setup you got. For me, to keep it nice and easy and uh, it suits me, uh, I've just chucked it all in behind here. So my portable compressor used to live under that side wing anyway. So now the whole air tank and compressor switches and relays all lives under there. So perfect for me. What you do need uh, is you need to power it up. So there's an inline uh, pressure switch in there. So it always keeps your tank top up at 150 PSI. But you either need to power it up via ignition switch or for me, I've just powered it up through my LCD voltmeter here. So as soon as I switch this on, there's the air compressor comes on. And then once the tank is up to 150, it'll cut out on its own. So I'll just let it go up there now. There you go, so it's just cut out at 150. So now the tank's full of air. In here, you've got a gauge for left and right for your airbags. So I know from the previous video, I know the maximum I can put in my bags for this vehicle is 40 PSI. Um, to get my ride height back to level where I need it to be when I put the caravan on, I only need 32 PSI. So I can watch this on the gauge. Up goes the car. The compressor kicks back in because the pressure's dropped in the tank. And then top him up a bit more. There you go, 32 PSI in each bag. How easy is that? And then the compressor's topping up the tank, so I've always got a full tank of air there, uh, which is great, especially when it comes with this handy little thing. An extra lead and a tire pressure gauge. Because I've mounted the outlet here with a bulkhead fitting through the panel, I can plug this in. And plug this one in here and now I can run around and do all my tyres so when you've been on the full drive tracks or up the beach or something and you've dropped down to 15 18 psi when you come back off you've always got 150 psi on the tank plus a compressor kicking in and I reckon that is going to make airing up after the tracks a whole lot easier how good's that so come in here for a look I'll show you how I've installed it it all just lives under this side wing in here and uh, if you look up the back here, there's the tank. And then you've got the relay here, which you've got power coming in from your battery, power to your compressor, and then you've got a pressure switch goes to one side and your ignition goes to the other. Uh, you've got a few three-way joiners in there for your air, a couple of pressure switches, one for each airbag. And then uh, it just goes into here, into your gauge, into your switches and your outlet. So follow the diagrams and the instructions, easy to fit and uh, good to go. You can even press them the other way, down we go. It's a good thing, because you need, with these bags, you've got to keep five or six PSI on them at all times to keep them healthy. So you know you can just drop them straight back down to five or six, no putting a gauge on your outlets down below and all that sort of stuff. So there you go, the install's done. Great addition to my vehicle. Makes using the airbags heaps easier and uh, more accessible. Um, if you need more info, get on to me. I'll help you out if I can. Otherwise, get on to Airbag Man. They've got a kit that suits just about every vehicle on the market, and they'll send you out one uh, with a great set of instructions. Or you can go to a dealer and get one fitted if you're not too handy yourself. So. Cheers guys, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.